Well, it was a great weekend for a fishing tournament off Long Island, and the sharks were biting. You heard me. I said the sharks were biting. But the news is what happened after that. Here's Chip Reed. 64 sharks were reeled in this weekend during a tournament about 20 miles off the coast of Montauk, Long Island. And for the first time ever in the long, bloody history of shark tournaments here, all of the sharks were released. Here we go, there we go, come on. Jason Behan, a third generation fishing captain, has been catching and killing sharks here since he was a young boy. There's a whole different mood here now uh, in absolutely. a tournament where you're not oh, killing the shark. Absolutely. In a tournament like this, I think this type of tournament for the first time is going to change a lot of people's minds. And it's just going to open a lot of people up to, hey, you know what, there is another way to do this. You don't need to see them hanging at the dock. I don't dock. need to see them. I, I, you know, I don't need to see them. No, it was, it was nice to watch them swim away. Job, buddy! There you go. Montauk is where America's shark fishing frenzy began in the 1970s, led by legendary local fisherman Frank Mundus, who served as the model for the shark hunter Quint in the blockbuster movie Jaws. I don't know, Chief. I don't know. He's very smart, very dumb. The movie Jaws came out. Uh, we wanted to get as close to him as, as we could. And, Tournament uh, organizers Sean and Brooks Paxton, known as the Shark Brothers, started out killing sharks, but for the past decade they've been advocating catch and release. We realized after a while that, you know, you could still enjoy the sport, but uh, doing it in a sustainable way. So sharks are in trouble. Sharks are very much in trouble. I mean, certain numbers, certain species are down 80 to 90 percent since like the late 60s, early 70s. So they need some help. Much of the problem is due to demand in Asia for shark fin soup, but the Paxton brothers say changing the culture of recreational shark fishing would make a difference. A sport fishermen are taking them as trophies, and that's the end of it. So it's, it's a wasteful practice and one of the biggest causes for declining populations. Satellite tracking devices were attached to four of the sharks caught this weekend. This one, a seven foot, 250 pound blue shark, was named Beamer by the local sixth grade class, which plans to track his travels online. That's the beauty of satellite tags because any kid anywhere in the world can go on and track these fish. They could catch a fish here in Montauk today and it could be in Cuba in a few months, it could be in Florida, it could be anywhere. And just the fact that kids can see where these fish migrate and keep them interested because that's what we want to get as the next generation to care about these fish. Sharks play a crucial role in the marine ecosystem, so even creatures with teeth like these sometimes need a little tender loving care. Chip Reed, CBS News, off the coast of Long Island.